Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something a little different. A friend had asked me about a month or so back to help him out with something he found on Flickr, I believe it was. And it was an ejection seat for a fighter aircraft. A little mock somebody had made, posted some pictures of, and they didn't have a link to buy the instructions. So he asked me if I could try to read, um, reverse engineer it. I give it my best go and uh, ordered all the parts. They're in this bag. There are 623 parts, and of this, there are 195 unique parts. And I'm going to give it a, a test build today, see how my instructions turned out and how stable the, the build is. The build will turn out to be about 8 inches wide and uh, 7 inches long and... 11.3 inches tall so here's a look at all the parts so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can assemble this I'll try to do a, uh, a time-lapse video if it doesn't get too rough I'll post it after this and then we'll go and see the review of it Here's the completed build. I did run into one issue where I planned to use this part over here connecting into this and then looping around and setting in one of these holes but it's the wrong part. I'll get the right one on the way. The only other thing missing is the seat belts which I need to cut a couple rubber bands and uh, cut them up and make the seat belt with this is kind of the latch turned out pretty good um, I did have an issue where the sides attach where I didn't plan it out right for the snot bricks like this to actually allow this to stick on and it was a spacing issue I just needed to add a plate between them I think the only other thing that I wanted to change which one of the parts isn't in the right color is the yellow to a brighter yellow on the base of the seat. The inverted slopes don't come in that color. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, got a lot of interesting greebling on it. Let me know what you think of it. Hopefully my friend is happy with the build. I'll take it apart and put it in sequential bags for him so it's easier to put together. Anyway, have a good day, and uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day.